Good morning, everyone. I'm Zany Janie, and today we're going to go over my morning routine. Okay, so this is my morning cat routine because <laughs> my life is indeed cat. In the morning, I start out with feeding these little tyrants. I have four of them, but to properly feed them, I feed them about a half a bowl each. And as you can clearly see, they don't eat at all, but that helps them keep healthy and have a little bit of food for later. I've given them some food to eat and love for the day. Um, I go ahead and do the cat boxes. As you can see, I have to have at least two. The recommended is one for each cat box or one for each cat, but I couldn't afford that, and that's a lot of lifting. So this is all the room I have. And they seem to use it well. I just have to clean them about twice a day. Once in the morning and once at night. I have a little bag for my pooper scooper. And the garbage can right next to it so I don't have to go that far when I am scooping. I also use a mask and gloves to help keep the air dust from the litter out of my nose and nostrils. Now it might look funny because the cat food is on top of the cat box, but that's not where it actually goes. I am putting all of the stuff off of the floor because in the morning I come in here and I clean up all the litter. They get all over the floor every day. And as you can see, they sometimes get upset tummies and I have to clean up messes and stains off of the carpet, which I have a thing for that. I use Resolve to clean the carpet and you just shake it and then put it in the the shake stick and then you scrub it. I also have a D-Bot Ecovac. His name is Salem. He helps me every day. He cleans up in here and it's easier for him to work in here because it's a smaller space that doesn't have as many walls. He always gets stuck in this little corner though with this extra little carpet that's to help um, collect the the litter as you can see and to stop traffic so much between inside the house and inside the kitty city. We're gonna get started and let Salem do his thing while I clean up the cat throw up and try to get under Rocky to clean off the cat fur from the cat tower. As you can see the resolve picked the stain up and I let Salem run over it, so it'll pull up the excess um, liquid. I have cleaned the cat tower on the bottom for the most part with a extra broom that I keep in here. It is a small little broom that cost me about two dollars from Walmart and I just kind of sweep the edges off to get all the litter off. Now I just have the joy of trying to move her to get under and clean this bottom part. This is where the cat fur collects a lot. And mainly, as you can see just off the edge, right here, using a glove is much easier and the friction between the glove and the cute cat, I mean the cat tower, is a great way to pull up cat fur. And this causes, I don't have to use a vacuum or anything, and it doesn't hurt the suction of my vacuum because having a lot of cats I need the ability to have uh, very good cat hair removal. As you can, as you can see, it's much better now that Rocky's not on there, and you can see this huge clump of fur that the cats let out every day. And I have four of them, so it's quite a bit of fur. I usually go against the grain to begin with to get rid of as much fur as possible, and then I go from the side to help pick up the excess that's left over. And then in the end, once I've picked it up, I go ahead and bring it back down to follow the green and allow them to have a softer surface. Even though Salem gets stuck, and I hear this over and over every day, I do appreciate that he cleans the floor so well. Look at that. No cat fur or cat litter. Ridiculous. And that's my morning routine. I'll see you next time.